Columbus police blame road rage for a wreck that flipped one of the cars involved on its roof in the middle of the street. This happened on State Road 7 and US 31 in Bartholomew County and ended on a city street. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is there with what caused the driver who caused the crash faces now. Police tell me everyone is fortunate that no one was seriously injured. The 18-year-old victims were on their way to Columbus East High School yesterday morning. It appeared as if the collision was caused, witnesses say, by the other driver. They say this was no accident. It looked like the collision was intentional. Thursday morning on Highway 7, just a block or two from the high school. That's Jerry Wint's car on its roof. Lauren Wright told police he was driving behind Wynn for several miles, that he was driving slowly and hitting his brakes, perhaps trying to cause an accident. When she turned off toward the high school, things got worse. When the gentleman in the uh, uh, Ford Taurus actually came around and uh, struck their vehicle, pushing the high school students, uh, pushing their vehicle into a, a curb, and then subsequently causing the, uh, the Taurus to flip over. Wright and her passenger weren't hurt. Wynn received minor injuries. According to police, he admitted hitting the brakes, claiming the girl was tailgating as they drove up the highway. At the intersection, he said something got under his brake pedal and kept him from stopping the car. The 52-year-old was charged with reckless driving and aggressive driving. Columbus police say they're going to forward their findings to the prosecutor to determine whether additional criminal charges are warranted.